want to tell y'all, I got 150 million YouTube views without no record label, without no radio behind me. No famous shots out, none of that shit. And I did it all because of what the fuck is coming out of my mouth. That's why people come back and listen to me. And if you want to be like that and get it on your own, you got to fucking read, man. Y'all got to get your fucking mind right. The more you read, the more you put into your brain, you got more ammunition than the next rapper. You see what I'm saying? So go read as much as you can. You're just making more weapons for yourself. If you don't read, you're only limiting yourself. Most of these fucking rappers, they get a deal, like, at age 16. And they start emptying out everything that's in their fucking brain. Everything that they know at the age of 16. And they're not reading new shit, putting new shit in their brain. So after y'all listen to their music for about a year or two, you already know what the fuck they're talking about. Molly Water, Ops, Thoughts, you know, uh, Gucci Bell, Louis Bell. Like, y'all not talking about shit. Y'all not giving the people that's listening nothing that they can walk away from to better themselves. So the main thing to do this independent shit is read, man. Read, watch movies, be a fucking sponge 24-7. You can learn from anything, from anybody. You can learn shit from your, from, I learn shit from my seven-year-old son all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody, don't nobody know every fucking thing. So I'm just gonna tell y'all that, man. I'm living proof that you can do it on your own. You don't need no fucking label. Any motherfucking famous motherfucker, tell me, look. Any, check it out. Any famous motherfucker that come through y'all city and do a show, a lot of motherfuckers on the way and thinking they can change their life. Most of these, I'm gonna tell y'all something. A lot of these artists y'all listen to on the radio, I've been around all of them. I've been around plenty of studios and places and stages where I'm the only unsigned motherfucker. A lot of these motherfuckers, they smiling on stage. When they get off stage, that smile gone. They ass fucking miserable. They can't go see their kids when they want to go see their kids. They gotta go to this city, this state, this country to go make this label their money back. All it is is a fucking loan. So when you see rappers holding big things of money on the side of their ear, acting like they talking on the phone and all this shit, it's not even their fucking money. That nigga is in debt till they got more sense than the rest of these motherfuckers. You see what I'm saying? Now listen to me. It's just like this with this record label shit. If I give you 100 pounds of weed to go sell, and you sell 50 pounds of weed, now you got 50 pounds worth of ca my cash money that you gotta bring to me, but while you got it in your possession, you take a picture from Instagram and hold the money up like this. Nigga, I only said you could get 20% of this shit. So that's my money you flexing with. That's what the fuck these rappers got y'all thinking. Out here. No, I can't do that show on April 3rd because that's my son's birthday. And guess what? I'm gonna see y'all on another date. These rappers, they can't do that shit. You gotta have your ass where the fuck this label tell you to be at. Fuck your son's birthday. We don't care about your son. We care about you being our vet. We put this money into you. Now I'm your boss. Me, I'm my own fucking boss. Can't nobody tell me shit with you. Can't nobody cut me short. Listen. Can't nobody cut me short of my check, no none of that shit. I got nobody behind my back shit. All these niggas with me, I love them. My artists, I love them as people before any artist. If they all quit on me, I'm good. I got myself. You see what I'm saying? Record labels, they can't do that. It's motherfuckers like Walker well, Flocker who's asking. He done made enough money to where he can buy himself out his deal. But the record label's not agreeing to let you buy out of your deal. So now what you gonna do? That's what the fuck Kanye West is talking about when he say, don't y'all know we the new slaves. He's telling y'all, most of us think, oh, he's crazy, he don't know, the, I don't get what he's talking about. He's fucking telling y'all indirectly, we some motherfucking slaves. So, if, any, if you don't know anybody that did it on their own, you know Montana of fucking 300. You see what I'm saying? I'm just telling y'all that shit, man. I'm doing that shit, man. Get your motherfucking mind right. There's a lot of people that want to talk that independent shit, but when the money is in their face, they don't know how to say no. You see what I'm saying? It's a big difference between walking that shit and talking that shit. Like, the most money I turn out is $5 million. I'm okay. If I never see $5 million in my life, I'm good. I'm a, I'm, I'll am be good under $5 million knowing I'm not getting fucked in my ass or ran and told what to do like a hoe. You see what I'm saying? Is motherfuckers really out here that's like that? I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all gonna laugh and shit. Is motherfuckers that really fucking miserable. And then I'm gonna tell y'all they secrets and shit like that. The majority of the fucking industry are fucking homos in, in fucking real life. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against gay people, that's what the fuck you wanna do. But the majority of us, what the fuck it is, that's what the fuck the truth is. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, whether y'all wanna hear the shit or not. That's what a lot of these motherfuckers is into. When motherfuckers get money and 
can do whatever the fuck they want to do with money, they tend to start venturing off into other new shit. Like that, and cocaine, and all this other shit. You see what I'm saying? Keep your motherfucking circle tight, get your motherfucking mind right, and watch out for the snakes. Even heaven, even heaven has snakes in it. Y'all make, what the fuck make y'all think they not down here? They not gonna be in your record label, in your record deal. Motherfuckers really out here miserable. And I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna be the motherfucker that did this shit first, and did it on my own. And I don't give a fuck with no label or any motherfucker thing. I know a lot of motherfuckers don't want me telling y'all this shit. Because a lot of y'all can be somebody else's future investments who they fucking over. But I'm telling you right now, a lot of y'all ain't gonna listen to me and still do what the fuck y'all wanna do. That's that's okay. But you're gonna think back if you do the wrong thing that Montana told me that shit on April 3rd, 2016, man. But we're gonna turn y'all up though. Let's go, man. Let's do that shit.